can do no more than see you off with prayers for your safety and success. Hey man, you've already given me a Harshifant shield. Yet know that wheresoever you may go, my son's spirit goes with you. May the fury grant you strength. Don't worry for Tomps, I got this. For Harshifant. Christ, the whole gang's here. Why did I go and speak to them? They all came anyway. <laughs> Could have spoke to them right here. <laughs> Excelsior, my friends. They really missed out on uh, Or maybe there's a mod. Can we make the Excelsior have a big Stan Lee face on it? Like right there. It's instead of those lights, it's just a big Stan Lee face. It's alright. I'll put it in the video. Don't worry. I was honestly waiting for that to uh, to go wrong or something like that. Because the way he spoke, like, I can handle the eye. I was just like, that. that's a red flag and a half. Yeah, there you go. You're just a fucking eyeball. Hi guys, we're back to pierce the veil. Did you miss his? Got to love in uh, <laughs> things like this. It's like you're driving the ship. Like you physically shouting, is it going to push it through? <laughs> We're through. Oh, that's the big new ship. It's almost as wide as the Emperor of the Imperials. Almost. Damn it! The bastards were waiting for us to open the door for them. Oh, so they weren't actually there. They were waiting outside the whole time. Man, bamboozled by the bad guys again. Hang on to something. Time is come to use Heidlin's gift. Much blood has been spilled in my name. And for what? For a false cause that I created for want of the warmth of compassion. I was just about to say we haven't seen her in a while. Yo, he actually dropped her like Fortnite. Just jumped off the battle bus. This is quite the epic entrance for him, man. gonna say though how are they gonna take out an actual uh, massive ship like that maybe they're not maybe they're just providing the distraction oh 
Right, this is your chance to redeem yourself after the uh, unfortunate display you had against General Grievous. She managed to take it down. That will be a no. Where's that? Where's Race Volga? I was just about to say, can't race vulgar, catch her, but ether, it was guess I wouldn't have mattered. Light. Who knows, maybe she actually did do some she lasting damage. One of chosen. Maybe she took out like the main gun on it or something. Fare you well, my lady. Even he's came around on it. Being at each other's throats the whole time. Then even he's like that. Expressing an emotion other than pure edge. I know. Dare say it. Sadness, in a way. And the only way he knows how. <laughs> oh. The outfits are back on. Man, are we just gonna fight this guy as just like a like a regular wee skirmish? Like he's not a dungeon boss or anything? Show me your power, of Did he really just say his men stand down guys? I got this. Let me solo these guys. Oh now his pals coming and join. So much for soloing us. He's getting a wee bit beat, then he's like, ah, oh boy, he's jumping for me. It's like that in school whenever like you see me guys like about to fight each other. Feel like that. When if I start losing, jump in for me, mate. You are a formidable foe. And I have thoroughly enjoyed our time together. Alas, all good things must come to an end. Oh, is this like he was all he was always secretly too powerful for us and he's gonna hit us with his big move right at the end? I guess that was his secret move. Joke's on you, I had several men waiting in the wings. You must continue on. We will hold them here. Take the eye. It should still hold enough energy to be of use to you. He's actually parting with the eye? Holy shit. I shall join you as soon as I am able. Never thought I'd see the day where he'd actually like hand it over. I don't know if you guys, <laughs> don't know if you guys noticed it there, but I don't know what happened. Desmond kind of did like a wee pout mouth. <laughs> he turned around and went, <laughs> and then turned away. 
<gasps> there it is. Is this the last quest by chance? This feels like it would be the last quest in the expansion, or at least 3.0. Yeah, this this is giving me some uh, coils vibes. But I guess it's all based on the same technology, so it probably would. Yo, is that a disco ball? You didn't tell me this was a disco. It's just one of these uh, infamous Final Fantasy XIV clubs. I will crush you oh, it's him. Savage. Oh. <laughs> I thought we were going to be, uh, thought we were going to help him, <laughs> but I guess not. He didn't need help, clearly. In the name of the and he's out there. So I guess he's still kicking around somewhere. Hey, It's like the inside of a body. Oh shit, the full gains here. The champion of Hydaelyn. Tell me, why do you despise the primals so? They are the embodiment of mortal will, of mortal Because they kind of, you know, wreck shit when they turn up. So, you know. And it is well that you do, for it is from the vortex of ceaseless conflict that Lord Zodiac shall be reborn. Through the joining the world shall become whole again. Then all shall be as once it was, as it should ever have remained. <laughs> From this angle, they look absolutely giant compared to me. For the glory of Lord Zodiac. Your meddling ends here and now, a warrior of light. And there we go. Fight some machines. Pan of bread. I'm on Laha I don't know about you guys, but he's mine. We've got a score to settle, you know. Easy. Not feeling so big now, are you, Laha Bread? Such strength. It defies all reason. Maybe you should have kept Fancred under control. You might be a bit stronger. To your beloved fire. <laughs> Yo, are they gonna do the fusion dance? Gonna make it just a giant ash, <laughs> even bigger than the two of them right now. Okay, that's actually a much cooler design than what I thought it was gonna be. It was just gonna be one of them, but they were just twice as tall. <laughs> At least that's actually a cool design. Ashen frame. It's like Optimus Prime, but it's an Ashen. I'm gonna hit him with a limit brick. There you go. Take that. Lala Bri. Lali Panani. That he might regain the blessing of light I had foreseen. But he has grown so strong in it as to deny us our power. Yeah, I'm level 61. Let us withdraw, Lahabrea. That power remains to us, at least. Nah, come on, Desmond. Bust out the wee uh, device. Catch the both of them. I thought, I thought he would like do that. <laughs> he's just like, you. <laughs> it's like a flash by man. He's like, no, you don't. Either yeah, that or it's like a Pokeball. We've just caught an Ashen. That was a good take, I believe that. Man, if only we did it to Lahabri instead. 
If I had the choice to choose between the two, I would have threw it at him first. So, you harness the eye's power. A pity you spent it all. What will you do now? Pain or pleasure. <laughs> it definitely sounded a bit uh, subject at the end. Like she wasn't into it at first and then she was like, Ah, oh, you know what, actually, this is alright. Fruit like a Molotov cocktail. <laughs> so, not even the vaunted warrior of light can unmake an Atsian without relying upon mortal contrivances. I'll use this eye on you next. Any more of your cheek. And don't even get me started on Blonde Boy over there. distant past, King Thorden and his knights twelve fought and defeated Nidhogg. That's true, he's brought his own coffin for us to put them all in. What, what a bunch of lads. Though the victory cost them dear, they were rewarded with a great prize. The Dread Worm's Eyes. Both of which have since been held in the Holy See's safekeeping. The eye you possess was Nidhogg's left, and long has it served as the source of the Azure Dragoon's might. As for its twin, we gave it back to Race Falga. <laughs> Mr. Boyfriend Killer Zephyrin. Is that the guy's name? It has lain here, joined to the person of Haldreth, the first Azure Dragoon. For though he learned to harness its power, he was ultimately consumed by it. Even in death, his body decays not. A pitiful end for a fabled hero. My Asian friend, long have you and your kind sown the seeds of chaos by teaching mortals the secrets of summoning. But if you assumed that we would meekly serve as your pawn, then you are gravely mistaken. Wait a minute. Grandpa Archbishop actually coming through? I mean, he's not excused, and especially not the blonde guy back there, since they did kill Harshifon. But is he actually coming through? He actually was on the good guy's side the whole time? Well... I don't think he's quite on the good guy's side. I mean, he did let his own boy, Amaric, get beat up. Flesh, the soul of the legendary King Gordon. I can become a god. Oh, okay. He was uh, using the Ashens for his own benefit. Okay. He has become god. Okay. I see where this is going. I said from the start, guys, don't trust the church in anime things. It never works out. And now he is massive. <laughs> you know, I, I knew he was going to be big, but I didn't realize he was going to be that big. <laughs> Grandpa's been putting in the work, man. He's been on the protein. Damn. That's a cool sword. Please tell me you can get that. Whose being is sustained by a millennium of fervent prayer and the eyes nigh bottomless reservoir of ether. Grandpa been chaining hard. I do like this is happening and Desmond's just a wee tiny guy in the corner like, what the fuck? <laughs> well, I suppose he does have the power to turn his blade into like an ether. And there we go. I guess that's the end of La Habri. Rest in peace, Bozo. Will not miss. You may sound my Asian dragon or crab, wheresoever the seeds of chaos threaten to wicken, I shall excise them with my divine blade and bring order to the world. Right, but where's the bet? Where's the butt here? 
Where's the bit where you say, but you, warrior of light, you can't continue to live? The train's never late. I'm waiting for it. That train's never late, boys. There he is, you Justin Bieber looking asshole. We're gonna gut you like a fish. Brothers, the time has come to call upon the true power of the Heaven's Ward. I do like how they just can fly. <laughs> they just fly. Yo, I didn't realize we went to space. Better, why not? Why not? Sure, let's go to space. Is that how it's been done? No way. I feel like there's something else. I'm sure, there's another phase or something. Oh, catch. Not so big now, are you? Apart from your big beard. A millennium of prayer and the eye's power combined. And still you stand. I get carried, to be fair. It's more of the guys that was with me. Dark Desmond. Who? What are you? It's me, Desmond. Get out of here. Never trust the church in anime. Life for the reaction. <laughs> well, I hope wherever he is, I hope he's smiling. You know who I'm talking about. Where have you been? It is over then. I had hoped that mine would be the hand to end it. You were? Yeah, Cooler Stunning was here. Little chance of that. Cooler Stunning was here. He helped. I believe this is yours, good sir. It would seem the eye has served you well. Another one to my collection. It's twin at long last. All that remains is to take them beyond the reach of man and dragon both. With this task accomplished, my toil shall finally be at an end. I was, they were saying this throughout the whole expansion, like, oh, he can, can he, can he resist the influence? No way, is the last boss actually some kind of form of Estonia? No way.
I should not have held both of them at the same time, Estinian. Well, this was the last thing I was expecting. <laughs> well, I, mean, I did say, like, if you are, that the Pope fighter kind of thought, like, oh, kind of felt like it should have been something extra. Oh, unless... Ah, I guess I maybe have figured out what the uh, post... the post-patch stuff is. You stole the warned him not to let his guard down? Yep. This game loves planting the flags, doesn't it? <laughs> this doesn't feel as triumphant as it should, guys. <laughs> Estenian's literally turned back into Nito. Hey guys, uh, don't celebrate too early, but um, yeah, Stinian's transformed into a full-powered Needhog, and uh, yeah. Things ain't looking too good for us in the Asgardians. It would seem he has done it again. Has he? Has he done it again? <laughs> yeah, we beat the old man, Estinian. Bonjour. Like my dragon? Well, at least none of us died, you know. Oh, <laughs> getting the fucking bows at the ready, like, oh shit. I dare say you are the first soul in Ishgardian history to arrive in our city upon Dragonback. This scene shall be remembered for a thousand years to come. Yeah, I'm gonna get a couch at that. No hard feelings. Are no more thanks to the warrior of light. Your struggles are not yet over, mortals. Oh, <laughs> good feel good music, and then Midgard Summer's like, boys, it's not over yet. And the music just dies. Hey, Raban. Hey, an animal's back. Every expansion. Oh god, don't shoot. I do like how every expansion always ends with the leaders like getting together like this. For the future of Eorzea. For the future of Eorzea. Don't shoot Rabon's other arm. <laughs> he needs it. Oh, don't tell me that's who I think it is. Yeah, 
Yeah, put the shield down. Yeah. From here, Lord Orgifon can watch over all of Ishgard. It has been a long and arduous journey. And we have lost much and more along the way. Please tell me you can go and actually visit that in game. Please tell me it's an actual area you can get to. We must stay true to our purpose and press on. You can. Good. Well, I know where we're going. You do. It's high time we got back to rebuilding the Scions. Which means we're going to need money and lots of it. Do you tell me the post patch content is a uh, money builder, money building game? Go and make your own business. Ugh, I'm so glad they actually did that for Hoshi for it at the end, man. Like, didn't just say, yeah, he died and then moved on. They actually, like, had some closure for him. So ends a glorious chapter in one more time, narrator, one more time. Tumultuous days yet lie ahead for Ishgard. After a thousand years under the yoke of the church, the people take their first tentative steps into the unknown. And though they spy a glimmer of peace upon the horizon, Nidhogg's vengeful shadow yet remains to darken the way. Be that as it may, so long as the young commander of the Temple Knights and his heroic companions are there to guide them, the people may hold fast to hope. that one day true peace will return to Ishgard and that man and dragon may live in harmony once more. Let the deeds writ herein never be forgot, that they may inspire generations yet unborn to strive ever heavensward. No, they came or anything like that. No, I was waiting for it the whole time, man. He did say Heaven's Word at the end. So, how was Heaven's Word compared to Around We Born? Um, obviously, yeah, we have Around We Born, it's like a lot longer. And uh, I feel like maybe in Around We Born, there was more like big moments, but the overall experience, obviously, Heaven's Word's a lot more. You know, uh, like it's more you know put together better because also they learned how to you know pace the story a bit more, and uh, obviously they took out a lot of uh, obviously they didn't it wasn't as long as Around We Born because Around We Born had to like set up people who are just getting into the game, and uh, obviously with Heaven's Word like they could they could obviously you know no, they didn't have to like obviously put in that much detail. But yeah, it was definitely a lot more streamlined, and uh, yeah, it's just cool seeing like the uh, the dragon stuff in Ishgard. Even though I know obviously the worst part of it was definitely Harshy Font dying, but yeah, we avenged him, so that's good. And I did like the uh, <laughs> you rolling with uh, Yazeo and uh, Estinian in that. The two of them were just at each other's throats the whole time. It's like someone said before, like when it was going on, it said it feels like actual like. A Final Fantasy game where like you're in a group, the group don't exactly get along with each other, but you both you all have like the same goal you're working to. Post patch goes super hard. If it's in like a realm we borns, then uh, yeah, definitely in for some uh, shenanigans. I mean, early predictions for the post patch stuff is uh, obviously like Tatoo said, is uh, try to get the. 
Why? Why game? <laughs> Why you got to show that bit? Yeah, digits, thank you very much for the follow. That's what they they waited to this bit near they waited to show that image near the end. Okay, they're back on the moon. <laughs> Still don't know why they're on the moon. Why are they on the moon? Bested by mortals in their attempt to initiate the eighth rejoining. That they should be so complacent. Equilibrium must needs be restored. The time has come for you and yours to join the fray. Warrior of darkness. Is that you, McManor? <laughs> the actual sort of looking warrior of light is here. Got to do the usual and kneel for you guys. Oh, look who's at the very end. Look who it is at the very end. Revel in your vengeance, Desmond of Light. The pesky church is out of the way. I can return to my evil deeds. See you soon, hero. I did wonder why we didn't see you around that much causing mischief. Apparently you're evil. I don't know if I need to trust you anymore. But now we're walking to a very special person's grave. I hope you guys brought some flowers. This place has so many stairs. <laughs> Who built all these stairs here, god damn it. They even keep the uh, shield in that there as well. Got to kneel. You've got to kneel. 